Cliff Log, obviously the fans were tremendous tonight. About the same amount of people, but they were in the game from the beginning, and they made a difference in the game, a huge difference. So, you know, that's a big factor. Beat a good team. Team's hard matchups. There are a lot of things in college basketball. Uh, we don't match up well with this particular team because they have so many passers, so many good shooters that no matter where you go, they're going to get some looks. I thought overall we we really didn't defend the three-point line too bad. You know, they had to get 46 up to get their 17. You know, uh, and, and the. The good side of that is we're driving, trying to get to the basket, so we're going to get more free throw attempts, and that's important. But they're very difficult to guard. They really penetrate. They really kick the ball out, and uh, they all can shoot. I, you know, they all can shoot. Uh, so it was a really good effort. I thought Marek was really good in the middle. Uh, in terms of that was the open area, getting the ball, scoring or making a play or getting it out for the shooters. Uh, Joe didn't have it to go in tonight, and then he got it. And then he got going. Sooner or later, Joe and Buddy, they're going to make some threes. We get ten threes. That's that's a pretty good night. Um, but uh, I thought Quincy down the stretch. They were so extended in guarding Elijah so hard that there's we got Barama and Quincy in on inside on the boards. So if we do miss, we've got those two guys in there. And Quincy made a couple big plays in there. Um, you know, I told him you make start making your free throws, you be you be scoring about a point a minute. So that's that's pretty good. Uh, rebounding wise, uh, I thought he was really good tonight. Um, I thought Barama came back with a really good second half. Thought he was active. You know, he had 13 rebounds last game. He had eight rebounds tonight in 22 minutes. So I, I mean, again, every, we're gonna. Everything is a fight for us. We're not. We have to fight for everything we get. We're young. We're learning. We only turned the ball over four times today. We had 22 assists and 27 baskets. Uh, I don't think you can do much. Really. I don't think you can do much better than that. That's uh, that's pretty good. But uh, again, it was a, I thought it was a tremendous effort, and the fans really made a big difference tonight. It doesn't matter how many fans are here. It just matters if they're into the game. They were into the game right from the beginning, and uh, certainly made a big difference. Questions? Is it hard to defend a team that just plays so differently? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter how much you, you don't ever see that where they're never they're going inside. They're not really almost ever shooting it in there. They're just going in to get you to collapse, and they're throwing out, and they've got three guys out there. So you've got two out there defending three, and it's really hard to do. I mean, the last two threes they made were like really hard. You know, really hard shots, but a lot of their threes they got. You know, you, when you give up an offensive rebound, that's where you get that open three, and they got some of those. But they just really drive in, and they're just only looking to throw it out. And uh, they've got. You know, it's a good strategy. You got to really have three guys that can really shoot it, or four almost, and they can put four out there that can shoot it. Um, I, I think. Uh, you know, we wanted to make, when we got him out of zone situations, we wanted to get him man to man where Elijah could get to the, be able to get to the basket. And he made the plays down the stretch, the, you know, two really key plays, I thought, coming down the stretch and then Quincy's offensive rebound. But we have to make those plays. We're going to be, every game is going to be a, a fight. I mean, college basketball is just too, there's too many good teams, too many good players, and there's just not a game that you're going to just win. We're not overpowering anybody for certain, but I thought we battled pretty well on the boards tonight. We got some offensive rebounds, which we haven't been getting. Um, I, I, I just thought overall we played really, really well, and uh, we've still got a lot of work to do. We're fortunate that when we come back, we get a couple practice days, 
game, and then we'll have five, five or six practice days before we start back into the conference. So we need all that time. We need to get these guys better. But I was very encouraged with uh, certainly Quincy. I couldn't use Jesse's been good in practice. We couldn't use him today because they have to go to the corner. The center had to go out to the corner to cover, and you just he just isn't ready to do that. It wouldn't be fair to put him in that. I thought Robert made his shot, but he got beat up on the boards. Uh, so, but again, Howard hurt his, his knee again, some swelling. We'll try to find out tomorrow morning what that is. Hopefully he'll be better, but we don't know. We'll find out. But get a, another game and some good practice days, and hopefully we'll get better. It was going to Marek more in the middle, an adjustment you made, or something the team just kind of found? Well, that, I mean, we knew that was where the, where the opening was, yeah. That was the opening. Jim, do you want to see Brahma score a little more, or are you okay with the well, great defense? Well, he can't score, so I mean, let's, let's be realistic. He can score if he gets the dump off or a rebound back up. That's where he can score. He's not going to make post moves and stuff like that. He's just that's just not his game. Morek had to pick eight assists today. Is his role as a facilitator? Is that where he's the most? Yeah, I mean we're using him and Elijah to try to facilitate as much as we can, especially against this team because the middle was wide open. So, yeah, I mean that's. Yeah, that's what we're trying to do with him. I thought Joe was good. You know, Joe's 6 to one 8-0 eight and, eight and oh from Rag, 4-1. and one. Buddy's 4-1, 22-4. Assist to turnovers. That's unheard of. I don't think anybody does that. I don't think we've ever had 22 assists and four turnovers. I, I guarantee it. Ever. It never happens. And, you know, that's why we won the game. If we, we make 10, 12 turnovers, we're not winning this game. So, and one of those with Elijah was an offensive foul. So that's really, really being good with the ball, really being good. When they shoot like that, they can beat a lot of people. They can beat a lot of people. They, you don't beat teams that make 17 threes too many times. Very difficult to do. And I thought really we weathered, you know, I, want, I left Marek in there, he's smart. I want, we had a momentum, I wanted to get the lead up as much as we could and then worry about hanging out at the end. And, and actually Quincy came in right away and made a great drive and then he made a great three, two, two, two great plays. So uh, that, was, that was good to see. Do you have a uh, favorite Christmas memory that kind of comes to mind to you as the holidays are around? Um, you know, Christmas is a great time uh, for everybody. Um, contrary to written opinion, I'm very happy. <laughs> I've been grumpy since I've been 22, so I don't think you want to tie that to the fact that I'm 75 and I'm grumpy. I was grumpy no, no later than 30. Right, Mike? Pretty much. It wasn't here when you were 30. Well, 40, <laughs> 45, whatever. From the first day you've been here, all right? Um, I hate it when people try to psychoanalyze people when they have a writing degree. It's not, not good. It's not a good thing. It's not a good thing at all. And uh, as far as how I coach, I've been coaching this way for a long time. Obviously, uh, we're not going to change that. Um, we do try to adjust from game to game, offensively and defensively. And uh, we went from a direct opposite playing all inside defense to a completely opposite game in two days to move completely outside. And we weren't great at it, but we did a pretty good job at it, of it. And, uh, uh, you know, but those are things. We have to make a lot of change, adjustments, and the players are listening, they're trying. They're working hard. They're doing everything that they can do. You know, freshman, sophomore guards made big plays the whole game. And uh, Elijah's doing everything for us. He's doing things that nobody's done in a long time. 24-4 and one block, one steal. There's only been two guys in the last 20 years that have done that. Dwayne Wade and... 
forgot the other, the other guys in the first round. Oh, Marcus Fultz. That's pretty good. I think he's a little bit under the radar as to what he's doing. He's uh, really playing really good, and we need it. We're, we're just not, not a great team. We have to fight, claw for everything we get, and uh, that's what they're doing. Very, very proud of the way they're playing. They're playing as, as I think right now as well as we can play, and yet I think we can hopefully still get better. Have a good Christmas.